Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post, it's Neil here, and boy do I have a Jersey Concept video for you. I don't think we've ever had a series like this. This series is being deemed the ugly series, and these are by the designer Jack Hall. So based on the name, I think we're in for a we're in for a roller coaster of a video. I have not seen these. This is gonna be a reaction video as we normally do here on Friday. If that interests you and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Join us here every single Friday for videos just like this. We react to work and jersey concepts from the community. This time it's Jack, like I said. So Jack, what you got for us? Let's see. Alphabetical orders as far as abbreviation. Anaheim's first. Ugly. Okay, um, it's, it's it's not as ugly as I thought it was gonna be, to be completely honest. I'm just gonna resize up my screen here. Um, wow, okay, so I actually kind of like the shoulders and arms, like, and I like the logo too, because it brings me, makes me nostalgic a bit, brings me back. The only thing I don't like is that the green section from the neck down to the upper nips, it's too, it's too close to the nips. If you just bring it up, above the sea. I actually think it's not a bad jersey concept. The sea touching that yellow line and a bit of the green is the only thing that I, that I really don't like. So if this was supposed to be ugly, I, maybe I have bad taste, I don't know. <laughs> Next up, okay, Arizona. We've got a, a combination between the 2008 to 2014 alternate and, 2000, or, and 1999 to 03 alternate. This is also not that bad. Like the, you got the roadkill coyote on there. I've seen, I've seen way worse concepts actually than this. So again, this one, this one really is not that ugly. The arms are pretty wild and stuff and there's obviously lots going on. It reminds me of Minnesota maybe more than, than Arizona, but it's, it's actually, again, not, it's, it's not bad. It's not, it's, it's not ugly in my opinion. Next, Boston. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the, uh, the Pooh Bear jersey which was the, um, this is the 90s when he's got up there, 1995 to 06, could also be, I guess, potentially the reverse retro from uh, last year. But the shoulders, I do like, the brown is okay, but the bottom of the jersey is from the Pooh Bear, and that totally clashes with everything else in the jersey, the design language of all the other striping in the jersey. So I would classify this as ugly, but it's not as bad as I was expecting. Buffalo, oh my God, the Buffalo slug with the, was it the mid 2000s? Yeah, 2013 to 2015 alternate up there. I think one of the worst jerseys in NHL history, but the Buffalo slug is so iconic. The middle of the middle of the jersey looks like a basketball jersey. That's a Buffalo basketball jersey right there. Because <laughs> it kind of tapers in here by the armpits and comes back out. Okay, this is, this is an ugly jersey. I hate the middle of this jersey, but points for the Buffalo slug. Next, okay. I mean, that's not that bad at all. That's really not bad. It's the original uh, warning flag logo or original alternate logo, I guess, from, was it 2008, 2017, I guess? That doesn't make sense. Did they really use that as an alternate that long? Jeez. Uh, anyways, this is not ugly. It's, I like, not at all, actually. It's not bad. Next, Columbus. Okay, um, here's the thing. <laughs> I actually like this. <laughs> Okay, this is not the ugly series. This isn't. This is a decent series. Maybe I really do have just like the terrible taste, just the worst taste ever. But I like this. I know they called the blue jackets, and we had that reverse retro 1.0, which was red. This is also red, but it does look good. The red and the black really complement each other, and then that tertiary color is the blue and that middle pinstripe in there, and the white obviously. But uh, this, yeah, I actually like this. Next, Calgary. Okay, now we're talking ugly. All right, you've got a shade of yellow in the middle. And then you've got a shade, uh, a more desaturated yellow or maybe approaching cream as the neck color. Well, I don't know what's going on in the middle for striping. You've got horizontal striping and then angled striping above that on the arm. You've got numbers with three strokes. You've got yellow, or I guess, no, it's not, it's only two, I guess. So a red number, yellow stroke, and then a black stroke, but there's a very thick stroke. So it's just a bit difficult to read. This I would consider ugly. You have succeeded, Jack, you've succeeded on this one. Next. Chicago, you know what? I don't like the number, but if you took the number off and you put a Chicago Blackhawks logo on there, that would be better than Reverse Retro 2.0. 100% it would. So Jack, I think you're actually on the money here, minus that number 10 in the middle. Next color, <laughs> okay, I don't like this. Oh, I hate those lines in the front of the jersey. It is so, like, it's so Reebok. <laughs> it's so Reebok practice jersey or something. I just, yeah, I, I don't like that at all. The rest of the jersey is actually fine. I just hate the lines in the front. Dallas, whoa, look at those arms. 
those arms are actually kind of amazing. The middle of the jersey, I could do without the 10. The Dallas is fine there. Uh, the clean nature of the top of the jersey by the shoulders and the middle bottom of the jersey, completely fine. The arms are the best part of this jersey. I just don't like the 10 in the front of the jersey. I would remove that. That's actually pretty good. Next, Detroit. So, I, I mean, it's the reverse retro, kind of, but the bottom has been changed a little bit. This is the worst, this is the worst version of the reverse retro 2.0 and probably anything that existed that that's inspired from. So I will give it to you here. This is ugly, but it's also not kind of not that bad either. Next, the Oilers. Oh, man, those lines. The lines are back. Anytime those lines are there, I'm, it's going to be hard for me to like it. So I'm going to give thumbs down to this one or thumbs up since that's the series. It's the ugly series. So maybe I should be at the end. Am I supposed to pick my favorite or the one that's the ugliest? This is a confusing series. Next, Florida Panthers. So we got the Reebok alternate, and we got the, I uh, guess, reverse retro, kind of, even though it's not listed above there. To me, that's what I see personally. I see, I guess I do see like the kind of uh, the the other jersey as well, but I see, because of all the blue, I see the, uh, the reverse retro a little bit. It's not ugly. It's really not. Like, it's really not. I, I like this. Next, the LA Kings. Always going to lose me with the Burger King. So this is the Stadium Series. It's a little difficult to see the Stadium Series, but if you had... Tilt your head a little bit, you can kind of see it. Uh, the alternate from the mid-90s and the Stadium Series jersey. This is successfully ugly. The Minnesota Wild. This I've seen jersey concepts exactly the same as this. Uh, worse than this. It's not my personal preference for a jersey, but I don't, wouldn't consider it ugly. Next, whoa. This is the Montreal Canadiens Barber Pole, Barber Pole jersey on steroids. There's an additional color, and it's green. It's so Christmassy. I kind of love it though. <laughs> like I, if this existed, I don't think they could wear it in maybe more than one game, one or two games, maybe three at the absolute most. But as jersey collectors, even if you, this is one of those jerseys that if that got released, even if you hated it, you'd want to have it in your collection. So yes, it is ugly, like very very ugly. But I kind of want it to exist at the same time. Next. Ooh, a green version of the jersey jersey this is ugly the, the, the original version's ugly so this has to be ugly <laughs> uh, actually i don't i was gonna say it's better i don't know if it's better it's not that bad though next nashville uh you've got the original mustard tiger with um i guess the uh home jersey that is a and it's an odd combination it's a really really odd combination it is ugly there's so much going on there's different angle striping you got the lines in the middle like i said earlier uh, this is a weird one, yeah. I, I, this is ugly. Absolutely, this is ugly. I, I This is one of the my least favorite jerseys in the NHL with the Islanders in the 91 in there. I don't like that. Rounded shoulders as well, I'm not a big fan of. And just the craziness that is happening as far as striping and colorization at the bottom of the jersey. Don't like this one. Next, the Rangers. And the, I assume this is mid-70s. Yeah, 76 to 78. I didn't know the exact years, but I knew it was mid-70s. And then 46 to 47, not familiar with that. I like the Rangers on the front, like that. It's okay. The eight just yeet off of there. The arms look good. I actually like the jersey other than the eight in the front. Next, the Ottawa Senators. You know what? If you put a logo on the front of this, this could be a heritage jersey or a winter classic jersey. Next. Oh, what is this is like the this is like a mirrored, weird version of a Flyers jersey with that very intense and iconic logo. But it almost makes it the Liberty Bell kind of at the same time, doesn't it? Like the black. I, I don't like it. <laughs> it is weird. I, I don't like it. But it is quite uh, It's quite cool to, to look at, actually. Next, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, my goodness. What is happening here? This is all over the place. You know those ransom letters in movies that you see when, um, like, a serial killer will send a letter to the, to the, um, to the police? And every single letter in the words that he's writing or is sticking in there is like a different font from a different magazine. That's kind of what this jersey is. You're taking like a piece from a bunch of jerseys, I feel like, and just like putting it together. Uh, this looks terrible. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Next, the Seattle Kraken. This is nice. I like this. I'm fully on board with this, actually. This is nice. Next, the San Jose Sharks. Uh, again, reverse retro. I can see in there. You can see the uh, that nice logo. We get the number on the front as well. Not bad. Honestly, not bad. Next, ooh, wow. It's surprising that someone's not done this concept before because it does make a little bit of sense. 
but it is odd. It is a, this is a very odd jersey. I don't think this should ever exist. It's not terrible. It almost looks like a practice jersey a little bit. Next, the wow, the Tampa Bay, Tampa, what boy, the Tampa Bay Lightning Storm jersey with that other alternate that we got kind of as a reverse retro here. The, you know what? The, the rain's going a little bit hard in the middle, but okay, just, here, hold on. Hear me out. Let's, let's just, let's, let's get into this, okay? The arms are amazing. The shoulders and coming down the arm is really, really good. We can remove the wave. I think the wave can probably go. We can remove the rain. That can probably go. Picture that. That's a pretty awesome jersey. And I know this is about being ugly, but I actually see a lot of potential here. Even if you just removed the rain and kept the wave along the bottom, this is a fantastic jersey. So I actually really like this one a lot. Next, the, ooh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. This looks like a practice jersey or something. It is, I wouldn't say this is ugly. It's just a little bit empty and boring. Next, the Vancouver Canucks. Oh my goodness. You got the gradient. You got the V. You got the, the, the logo on the arm and not in the front. You got the numbers down by the wrists. This is ugly, but it's kind of amazing at the same time. Next, the Vegas Golden Knights. Okay, you just combined two reverse retro jerseys here. <laughs> the first one and then the second one. It's not ugly, but it's not it's not amazing. Next, the Jets. Ooh, I hate I hate the number on the front of this. This is that's the worst. The logo in the arm is sideways as well. <sighs> that's not bad. And the number on the elbow. You typically I don't like that, but it's in the white. It does look okay. But you gotta remove the 26 from the front and the Jets font too looks weird. So actually, if you put a regular normal style logo. A classic one, the current one, a uh, future concept or something that would be actually, I think, okay. Just not what's there. Next to Capitals. Uh, I guess it's okay. It's like, I don't really like the pinstriping that's happening on the inner arm, but the rest is not that bad. So that's the last one. How am I going to pick my favorite from this? This is like, do I pick my favorite and then my least favorite, which would be the best from the video. Oh man, this is tough. Okay, I think the worst jersey concept, the ugliest in my opinion, is Calgary. Because it breaks so many rules, it's all over the place. I was gonna choose the Pittsburgh one, but I'm gonna settle on the Calgary one. This is the ugliest in this entire series. And my favorite, I really like the Tampa one. I think there's actually a lot of potential here. So Tampa's gonna be my favorite from this series. That was that was so fun to go through. And that's what's cool about uh, the community. It doesn't just have to be Jersey concepts. You can be a little bit creative with it. You can make stadium series ones or ugly ones like this, winter classic, blackout series. That is what's cool about the community. And if you wanna be a part of the design community and try your creativity, and you wanna use the exact template that you saw here in this video, you can go to sportstemplates.net, use code post to post that's gonna get yourself 10% off this template and any other template on the site. You can have fun, play around with your creativity and come up with whatever series that you want. Send it in, I will review, react or rank it. Additionally, there are other templates on the site that are free that you don't even need my discount code for. So if you're feeling up to it and you wanna try those, absolutely do so. If you wanna branch out into other sports, you're welcome to do that as well. There are templates on the site other than hockey, which is pretty awesome. So like I said, if you wanna come up with your own concepts, feel free to do so. Details on how to submit those are down below in the description. Jack, thank you so much for submitting those. I really appreciate you. I hope you guys are having a great Friday, a good start to your weekend. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more videos exactly like this. If you did enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up and an extra thumbs up for Jack for going through this really cool series, the ugly series. I appreciate you, Jack, and I appreciate you all watching at home. We'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.